and thank you for watching. On today's show, we're going to tell you about Alpine's brand new single den CDE 164BT. Wow. Yeah, here we go. Stay tuned. All right, so Alpine came out with two uh, brand new CD players this year, and only two. Only two, okay. Yeah. Uh, they came out with this guy here, which is what we're getting ready to show you. Uh, but we've also done unboxings of this guy, which is the doubled in version of the radio. Mm -hmm. The reason why I bring this up is because if you've watched any of the videos on this, for features, they're going to be exactly the same with this. So Pandora Station Recreation, how Siri is free, Bluetooth pairing for the iPhone work. Uh, the EQ crossover, we did a video on so that. So it's the same features. Exact same features, just in a different form factor. So if you're looking for videos on how to use this guy, the 164, just check out the W265. Yep. Okay. All right. With that being said, let's move along to opening this guy up and talking about this one. Boom, boom. All right. So you get a case for the face. Now, inside the case for all Alpine's faces is where they hide their Bluetooth mic. So if you get one of these and you're like, where's the Bluetooth mic? Right here. Case for the face. Okay. You gonna say in Spanish? Okay, la carátula. Aquí es donde va la carátula y el micrófono. My bad. The fact that I have to remind you. Okay, <laughs> power plug. El de corriente. Uh, the extraction tools. Tornillos y las llaves. Okay, so we got an owner's manual right here. The paper version is, um, is the condensed version. If you really want to know what the thing will do, uh, open your computer up and check out the actual CD version. Uh, it is not a movie, and it doesn't talk to you. It's just a PDF on a disc. Okay. So, este básicamente es el manual, y este nada más es un adelanto. Así que, chequenlo por si quieren saber el radio. Okay, so now we got Alpine likes to, they don't use foam because they're trying to be as green as possible. So they use, use these cool little air, air things. Which Bubble? Are, yeah, it's kind of neat. Okay. All right, so we'll pull this guy out of the bag. All right. All right, so here's the unit. Let's take a look at the back of this thing. Okay. Let's get our little Darth Vader lady savers. So we have six channel. 4 volt preamp output. So we have the front, the rear, the sub, all right here. Okay, so tenemos seis salidas de RCA de 4 voltios. Obviamente es frente, el trasero y el subwoofer. Okay, over here, this guy, this is the Sirius XM port. Esta es la entrada del Sirius XM. We have the, uh, right here, we have the uh, steering wheel control input as well as the Bluetooth microphone. Recuerden que en la parte de abajo tenemos la entrada para las funciones del volante y en la parte de arriba tenemos la entrada del micrófono. We have the antenna input. Por supuesto, la entrada de la antena. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, Over here is the power plug input. This particular guy is going to have 50 watts by 4. Now, what's cool about the 50 watts by 4 in this is it uses a new amplifier called the Soundmeister. The Soundmeister. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a it's a better IC power chip. It gives it super uh, super sound quality and an expanded dynamic range. So and tiene I, un mejor oh, sonido. Yes, and I can verify that yes, we've we've tested these things out, and when you compare them to the previous generations amplifier, these sound a whole heck of a lot better. So nosotros los hemos cala los, he los hemos probado y en realidad suenan completamente diferente. And both units have that. This one as well as the double den. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to spin this thing around, we're going to power it up, and we're going to walk you through some of the features. Okay. You're like a little top. All right. Okay, so what we have here is a single DIN uh, AM FM CD player. So, recuerden que aquí tenemos un single DIN AM y FM. Now, all the Alpines are going to have their pat, their their famed, what they like to talk about, the 24-bit digital analog converter for optimum sound quality. Okay, recuerden que todos estos radios tienen el 24-bit, que es un convertidor digital análogo para calidad de sonido de la fuente digital. They love telling everybody about that. <laughs> All right, so this unit has Bluetooth. Este radio tiene Bluetooth. And it has both kinds of Bluetooth. 
And what I mean by that is it has uh, hands-free streaming Bluetooth for phone calls, mm -hmm. as well as uh, streaming music playback. So recuerden que este tiene el Bluetooth normal para hacer llamadas y obviamente el Bluetooth para uh, música inalámbrica. So as you'll see here, here's all your phone stuff. And if you come over here to your source, you can see your Bluetooth audio. Now this also has Siri Eyes Free as well as the Android equivalent. How exciting. Uh -huh. So este tiene control de voz para, la, para el iPhone y obviamente para el Android. Now this particular guy has the front USB right here as well as the aux jack located on the front. So tenemos la entrada del USB y la entrada del auxiliar obviamente. And we're going to plug into that guy real quick. Okay. Now, it also has Pandora. If you have a Android phone, it'll stream over Bluetooth. If you have an iPhone like this, you do need to plug it in to do Pandora control. Okay, si para la gente que tiene iPhone necesitas conectar el teléfono en, el, en la vía USB y para el Android necesitas hacerlo vía Bluetooth para hacer el Pandora. Now, it also has a RGB um, multicolor illuminated screen. So like the green you're seeing now, we can change that. And while he's talking, I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so recuerden que este tiene una pantalla a multicolor. Alright, let's pick the right button here. And we'll go down here to display, enter, illumination, enter. You can do keys and display. You can do just keys or you can do just display. So we'll just do displays. We'll click options. And here you go. It has presets as well as you can go in and make your own colors. We're just going to stick with purple and green. Get out of there. Okay. All right. So that's the illumination. Now, this particular unit also has Alpine's Tune-It app. Okay. So este radio también tiene el tune -it app. And what the tuning app does is we have a video on that as well. Is it allows you to do all the tuning for the radio from your phone. From your phone. Yeah. Recuerden que este uh, es compatible para hacer las funciones para controlar todo el, el, el ecualizador desde tu teléfono. Now it has uh, two modes. It has a very simple mode where you can just pick, you know, what you like, um, or you can and press apply. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. And then if you want to get in there, you can really go in and do uh, fine manual tuning. Okay. Where you have just bass, mid, and treble, or you can go into advanced, and you can really get into the nine band, which brings us to the next thing. It has a nine band parametric EQ. Okay. Built in. So we have a video. We have a video on all this, so we're going to skip forward. Uh, there's a crossover, <laughs> front, rear, and sub. Uh, there's time correction. There's also base engine SQ. Nice thing about base engine, uh, that's the easy feature. Actually, what I was thinking more of is it has the MX feature. Um, yeah, MX. MX is for sound enhancement when you're listening to digital media. And you go ahead and catch okay. them up. Recuerden que este tiene nueve bandas de ecualizador. Eh, ecualizador paramétrico tiene el crossover eh, tiene corrección de tiempo el base el base engine EQ we'll come over here and we'll get to the MX time correction MX setting all right so really MX setting there we go now we'll see all right so It'll ask you, do you want to do Bluetooth, iPod? So basically you can have a different MX setting for each source. Now what the MX will do is make that compressed media sound a lot more, a lot better. It has adds depth to the music. Uh, it's kind of like a glorified loudness button, but does a lot more. Uh, it helps to bring back some of the compression that's added to make things small. Okay, so recuerden que el MX, uh trata de sacar un poquito más la compresión del sonido del CD, del USB, del auxiliar, del Pandora, obviamente de, de todas las funciones. Now the one cool thing about this unit is like we said earlier, it has a crossover. So basically do front, rear and sub. However, this unit uh, along with its big brother, the Double Din, have another feature. 
So that would be considered a two-way. That will also do a three-way system so that you can use the internal amplifier or the preamp to do either front rear sub or tweeter mid subwoofer. Okay, and they, uh, network mode is basically what it's called. Uh, Alpine might have a different name for it. It's what we call it. Um, and we're gonna, there's a video on that that shows you how to do it on the double din. It'll be the same for the single din. But you can, what that basically means is you can use the 50 watts by 4 to power a tweeter, to power a mid-range, then put a small amp on the subwoofer and have a nice three-way set with time correction, with crossover, 9-band parametric EQ. So, you want to catch them up? <laughs> okay. So, recuerden que este tiene en, el, el, en la forma del network mode. Um, tiene la forma de 2 o forma 3 Forma 2 es ahora sí que conectarlo normal En la forma 3 puedes conectar el Twitter um, Tu medio y obviamente el subwoofer con este, Simplemente conectando los uh, 50 watts por 4 que tiene okay, Here's the crossover here Front, rear um, You have a frequency adjustment You can choose from You have the slope which you can do 6, 12, 18, or 24 dB per octave slope. Okay. Um, as well as over here you have level, negative level, so you can turn that channel down if you need to, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, and like I said, you'll have all those features uh, with the network mode. Pretty awesome. It's really awesome. So Alpine has decided that they wanted to make a high-end uh, single-din CD player in really a market that you know, that's kind of gone by the wayside. Most of these single-bin CD players are, you know, not that good as far as, you know, everyone wants something cheap. This guy is not cheap. This thing is built for sound. <laughs> um, both it and its bigger brother are uh, pretty impressive. So if you're looking to do sound quality and you're not doing a video piece, but you want all the cool things that a lot of those video pieces come with, as far as equalizers and crossovers and all that, yep. uh, you want six volt preamp out. I'm sorry, four volt preamp output. These are the guys for you. These are these are for the sound quality that's that's missed. <laughs> you know, you it doesn't this. exist much anymore. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. We'll get back to you. Uh, we do this twice a week. Uh, yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, you can find us at Facebook. You can watch us on YouTube and we're on Instagram as well. Yeah. Like I said, watch the other ones. Okay, guys, have a good night.